Welcome. So today we explore what are the other kinds of features that this platform has. If you notice on your units, whenever you click on any of your units, you will find that there are these three buttons, Rev Overview, Lessons, and next to them, Resources, Gallery, and Notebook. What do we do with resources? Resources are those which are the ones that already are uploaded by us onto the files. So for instance, for this unit, you have all these kinds of resources that have been uploaded. You can give feedback on any of these resources if you want by clicking on the button. Another thing that you can do is click on gallery. And when you click on gallery, what you will have is that you are allowed to upload or add your own folders. For instance, I as Blue Whale have added folder one and I have also added folder two, which is just a demo too. If, how do I add a folder? If you look at this page, you will find that at the top, at the right side, just below all of these aspects, you will find an add folder button. You need to click on add folder and automatically this kind of a page will pop up. It asks you for your folder name. You can click and you can type, say your friend is black ant, which in this case mine is, and you can say the display name should be the same as black ants and, uh, and, and you can have a folder description of images black ant lines has made. And once you have filled all the details that you want to fill on this, you will find that at the top of the page, there is this blue button called save. What you need to do is click on save. And once you do that, you will get this thing called please wait. Notice it has refreshed and now you have a folder for black ant. If you want, what you can also do is click on it and look at what this black ant could have uploaded. So once you click on black ant, it will ask you, it will take you to this page called what all you have to do. And one of the things that it has at the right is add file. You can click on add file and immediately you will find these names. You have to enter a file name. You, how do you add files? You select the files by clicking on this entire button of select files right below. And immediately there's a pop-up of where the images are stored. So you can click on it and you can click on an image made. And I could write here cycle basket. And describe it by saying basket is twisted or something of that sort. And I can upload the image. What is the use of this? See, it immediately has all the image uploaded. What's the use of it? The use of it is that others enrolled in the course can give feedback. They can give feedback by clicking below that. And so, for instance, if you have made something on Inkscape, you can upload it and then you can click on post and you, someone else can come in and they can give feedback on it, right? They can just type. What is the other feature? The other feature is notebook. Notebook is very similar to the activity that we showed you in the previous video, which talks about how to explore and complete your courses. And it has the same activity features such as post and discuss. So for instance, if there is a note that the teacher has given, which is separate from the lesson. See, in the lessons, you may have activities such as think and write. In notebook, also, you have an activity of interactives. Here, you would have something in terms of feedback. So the teacher has given uh, an activity. See, out here, there is a think and write activity. This is designed by us. And this is designed by the module makers. And then there is an activity and you have to click on discuss and write something out here, right? It was uh, a good lesson or something of that sort. Once you click on it, it will post it for you. In terms of notebook, you would have, 
you can write a new note out here if you notice you can write a new note every lesson will have this kind of an interactive on the purple bar and this will take you straight to the same place where you had your notebook there are two ways to access notebook one you are on the purple bar here click on write a note or on this lesson gallery you have notebook and you can click on that both of them will take you to the same page which is this in here you can click on feedback and you can post your comments and write whatever you would like so for instance if i say this is a fun activity and then i click on post and it's got posted I had I can also reply the way we replied earlier. Notice that all the names of you and your buddies will be visible out here. Blue whale, black apple, black ant. All of them are logged in. Blue whale, see, notice out here. Blue whale, black apple, black ant. All of them are logged in. And the same names appear out here. It's important that everyone be enrolled and logged into the course. What happens? You will find that if you look at it, this is important that you, when you look at your progress report, as we showed you in the previous video on progress report, you will find that you will have only your user, the one who is logged in, Blue Whale is logged in, and only Blue Whale can see his or her progress report. So what has the black apple or the black ant got to do? They have to log in themselves. Blue whale will log out and black ant or black apple will log in. And that's when you, they can see their own progress reports. How is this different from a teacher login? It's a very interesting question to have. In, remember that a teacher does not have any ad buddy course. So for instance, if I log in as a teacher, I won't have this add buddy option at all the way I have in a student unit, right? In my student unit, I have this plus sign. I have a plus sign that allows me to add buddy. I do not have this on the teacher platform. As a teacher, I do not add buddies, but I have something else. Once I enroll into the course of an English beginner, I will go down and I will see group analytics as a student. I saw, I wouldn't have seen group analytics. I would have seen something called progress report, right? In the, as a teacher, I will see something called group analytics. What do I do? I click on group analytics. And once I click on group analytics, this is what appears to me. All of this, all the students enrolled in the course. And in this course, there are 10 students. All the 10 students analytics will be seen. And notice here, black ant, black apple, and blue whale, all of them have scored 55. They all have 60 points because they all completed the lessons together. And they all have 50 files that they have sort of completed and uploaded. They have not written any notes per se, but they have all interacted in terms of 10. And there is this black bull which has clicked on. And if I can click on it, all I have to do to find a detailed progress report on any one of them is to click on them. And then I will come across this kind of a progress report, which even the student person had, but only for themselves. But as a teacher, I can have a progress report of any student I want. I will know exactly how many lessons were completed, what activities were completed, etc. So this black bull has not done any lesson has not been completed. They've just done some few less activities from different lessons. This is the kind of interactives that is important and useful to have as a differentiation between a teacher and a student. Notice in a different lesson, different activities, different students. They have all completed different activities. In this blue whale is not even registered. There is no student called blue whale in the English elementary who has completed any activity. Black ant has completed the activity. So that's what happens. And that is what you can have as a difference between your activity.